Hey, this is Kathy from Kathy Cooks for You, and we're doing a special here with box cake mixes for Christmas. You guys are all so busy, right? You need to have some time saving tools to get your Christmas shopping done and all your gifts wrapped, but you still want to have some treats and cookies and bars for your family, your friends, your co workers. This episode is for you. You just buy your cake mix and half your work is done for you. So watch this series and see what you can do with some cake mixes this holiday season. This first recipe is peanut butter or butterscotch chocolate squares. I'm using butterscotch just cause that's what we like. No, I like anything really. Now, if you're going to use butterscotch, you're also going to use a nut. I wouldn't use peanuts. If you use peanut chips, then I would use peanuts. But if you use butterscotch, you can use almonds, pecans, almonds, pecans, what else? Walnuts. I'm using walnuts. So let's get going here. We are going to start by making an ooey gooey middle. And we are going to put one can of condensed milk into our pan. Then we have our chips. I have butterscotch chips. I'm putting one and two thirds cup. That's almost how much is in a bag of chips. So I just use the whole bag. And then two tablespoons of butter. And we are going to melt this. So I've got some ooey gooey butter here. That looks maybe a little over two, but I doubt it'll matter much. So we're just going to put this on the stove, have it heat up, let's see which side, have it heat up and then we're just going to let it sit. We don't need it to boil or anything like that. Just going to let it heat up. Part one is done. Part two, we are putting our chocolate cake mix, that's where the name for the chocolate comes from, into a bowl. And with that, we are going to put our oats, our two thirds cup of oats into a bowl. Then our three quarters cups of chopped nuts. And we have here two thirds cup of softened butter. I'm putting that in. Oh, how could it not be good just with all this butter, right? Yummy. Get all that softened butter on there. Well, why would I not want it on there? I want it on my hips, right? Of course. And a half a cup of milk we're putting in. There we go. Now we're going to stir this up. And we are really going to get in there and stir it up. I might even, no, I'm not going to use my fork. You know, we've got to get that butter. This actually probably, I don't know if we could do this with the blender. It's going to be thick, so we just, you know, need to stir it up, make sure there's no lumps besides our nuts. We probably should have put our nuts in after, then we know if we had lumps or not, huh? And this is going to be our top and our bottom to our cake. And what's on the stove, which let me just make sure we're okay here. Okay, we're all right there. We turn that up a little. And then that's going to be our middle, is the ooey gooey caramel-like substance. It kind of has a consistency of a thick frosting right now. There we have it. Let me just try it. Huh. Gosh, that tastes like frosting. We have a greased pan here. We are going to put half of this delicious batter in the bottom of our pan. Do you have to measure? No. We want it all on the bottom, kind of like a crust. It's going to be a crust. It is thick. Oh, it's going to be so good. Now we are going to pour our mixture of our chips. You could use any chip in this, really. And we're just going to pour that on top. Oh, man. That looks good. 
Now we are going to take the rest of, the, we're going to take a little teaspoon and we're going to take the rest of this batter and we're just going to drop it all over in small bits. This is looking good. You can make this double chocolate and use chocolate chips. You can use white chips. Ooh, that'd be good. You could use the peppermint. You know, Christmas time you can get like peppermint. Um, white and red chips and then make it kind of pinkish. That'd be kind of pretty. We are going to put this in a 350 degree oven for 30 minutes. OMG. That looks good. Wow. No, it's supposed to be soft. That's so jiggling quite a bit, but it says soft set. So see how it's kind of moving? We're going to chance it because I want these chewy. I'll let you know. I'll let you know how they turn out. Let these cool before you cut them. You saw how soft that was. I'm assuming they're going to set a little bit more. On to our next bar. We're going to start with one package of white cake mix and a half a cup of melted butter. Now we're going to stir that all together and it's going to become a delicious crumbly mess for us. This is going to be our crust. We're going to pour it into a 9 by 13 pan that has the bottom greased. We're going to bake it at 350 for 15 minutes. And after 15 minutes, we're going to take it out of the oven and let it cool for five minutes before we pour the next mixture that I'm going to show you over it. Be sure to pat down those sides and corners. We just want a small lip on the sides. While that is baking, we are going to mix four eggs with one cup of corn syrup, one cup of granulated sugar, and three tablespoons of melted butter. Stir that all together. Yep, get that all nice. Now we're going to add one and a half cups coarsely chopped pecans and three quarters cups of dried cranberries. Yum! Now we are going to pour that into the cooled crust. Oh, doesn't that look amazing? And we're going to bake this at 350 for 35 to 40 minutes. Ah, look at it. It's gorgeous. Mix together a quarter cup of butter softened, one white cake mix, two eggs, quarter cup of water, and a quarter cup of packed brown sugar. You're going to mix that all together. It's going to be thick, but delicious. I had to switch to my whisk because this really is a thick batter. We're going to add one cup of dried cranberries, one cup of white chocolate chips, and one cup of chopped almonds, pecans, or whatever kind of nut you have in your pantry. Oh, it's delicious looking. It's thick, but man, does it bake up well. We are going to put this and I had a nine by nine greased pan. These came out so well. It was just like a brownie, but blonde. It was excellent. Bake these at 350 for 25 minutes. Those recipes were absolutely spectacular. The chocolate with the butterscotch, it was so chewy. It is going to knock your socks off. My neighbor, has loved it and asked for it again. So I need to make that one for him. My kids loved the pecan cranberry bars, very similar to pecan pie, but made in bars. And also they loved the cranberry and white chocolate blondies. Excellent. And those pecan bars that were kind of like pecan pie, what was great about them is there wasn't so much of the ooey gooey filling. Maybe you like that, but I would rather have a really thick crust and a little bit less of that brown goo, I guess is what you call it. So try all those recipes. Thanks so much for watching Kathy Cooks For You. Please subscribe below, click that red button, and I would love to hear from you with a comment or a thumbs up.